My name is Jennifer Morgan. I work at SAP and I'm the president of our cloud business. My very first job was working in my father's office, who was an orthodontist, and I was a junior dental assistant. And I always remember watching him, and it was a very people-driven business, so being able to see how important it was to engage with people in a very empathetic way. He always used to tell me, papers will wait, people won't. And so just that people focus was always very important. I don't know that there was a lightning strike moment where I knew I wanted to be an executive. I think when you're early in your career, you're trying to figure it all out. You're learning, you're hopefully having fun. I remember I got really great advice one time from a mentor. He said, Jen, the best way to get your next job is to do your current job really, really well. I think sometimes people spend too much time analyzing what's next and trying to figure out how to get there that many times the path to the next position is right in front of you and that's your current job. So one of the lessons um, that has really stuck with me is when I took on one of my uh, most important jobs running our North American business and I was doing uh, business reviews with some of the leaders on my team and very quickly I realized that there was a correlation between the financial numbers and then later on in the deck when they would get to the org chart and show the team that typically the people who could really understand and talk about the people on their team spoke about them with passion, about understanding what was important to them, where, where they were great, where they were developing. Many times the numbers tended to be pretty good. And so I changed approach and I asked anybody who was coming next that I wanted to first focus on the people. So put your org chart first and talk me through your team because if you focus on the people, um, the numbers will follow, both literally and figuratively. I think one of the biggest challenges is learning when to let go. As you move up the chain, it means you can't do everything exactly the same way you did it before, and you can't expect others to do it exactly the same way you would have done it, which means you have to let go, you have to trust, and you have to scale. And I think sometimes too, as a, as a mother with young sons coming up in my career, letting go of guilt uh, was very important to me because I, I realized guilt is somewhat of a useless emotion unless you actually make a change. And so when I decided to really let go of guilt, uh, it allowed me to be more present and focus on my work time when I was at work and really enjoy my family when I was at home. <laughs>